if a normal male, a male who does not possess a recessive mutation on his X chromosome, has offspring with a carrier female who has a normal phenotype but carries a recessive mutation. All of the female offspring will be normal. None will be affected with the recessive phenotype, although half will have a recessive mutation on an X chromosome and be carriers. Half of the male offspring will be normal and the other half will be affected. They will receive a recessive mutation from their mother on their X chromosome and not have a good copy of the gene uh, to compensate for this. So they will be affected with the recessive trait. If a man who is affected by the recessive disorder because he has a recessive mutation on his only X chromosome has children with a woman who is normal, she does not uh, carry a recessive mutation on either of her X chromosomes. All of the female children will be carriers because all of them will receive an X chromosome from their father with this recessive mutation. Obviously the definition of being a daughter is receiving an X chromosome from your father. None of the males would have the recessive trait because no males receive an X chromosome from their father they would receive a normal X chromosome from their mother. So in this cross, all of the female children will be carriers but have a normal phenotype. All of the males would be normal. If an affected male has children with a woman who is a carrier, then one quarter of the female children will be carriers, having received an X chromosome with a recessive mutation from her father, but a normal X chromosome from her mother. A quarter of the female children will be affected with this disorder. Although these disorders are sex-linked, females can uh, have the recessive phenotype if they receive a recessive mutation from each of their two parents. One quarter of the male offspring would be normal if they received the normal X chromosome from their mother, and one quarter of the male offspring would be affected if they receive from their mother the X chromosome with the recessive mutation. If a normal male and an affected female have offspring, all of the children will receive a recessive mutation from their mother. Now, for the females, this will be the only copy of the recessive mutation that they receive, so they will not have the recessive phenotype. They will simply be carriers of this recessive trait. All of the males, however, will receive their only X chromosome from their mother, and this chromosome carries the recessive mutation. So all of the males would be affected by this recessive disorder.